Hey guys, Lyndon here, what's happening? So today what I wanna do, I wanna talk about how do we now bring a WhatsApp conversation into HubSpot through an integration. Now, why is that even important, right? Customers now are communicating to us, to our different departments, sales, marketing, and service, sometimes in many different mediums. We have web chats, we have social media, we have forms, we have, you name it. But one very common platform these days is WhatsApp. But how do we now capture if service is talking to the customer in WhatsApp, if if sales is talking, because we have customer, we have companies now who are using WhatsApp numbers. How do we now take a WhatsApp conversation, even if it's if it's pushed to a customer service team and brought in and bring that into HubSpot and capture one specific channel of communication, right? So let's check it out. We're going to be using the What Hub for WhatsApp integration. Right, so for this to work, the first thing that we need to have is um the what hub from lead disruptive right the what hub whatsapp integration set up on our hubspot portal all right so you will actually have to go to the hubspot marketplace and you will find them here this is actually what it looks like right the next thing that you will have to do after you've had it connected to your to hubspot is that you will then have to go to the gmail extension right and uh, you will have to pull it down in google right so if you would notice i have it set up here and of course it's active. Now, once it's active, you will be now working through your WhatsApp web portal, right? And while you're doing it through your web portal, it means that you can have, you can have the conversations via your mobile. However, when it's time to bring that information back into your HubSpot portal, you will come to the respective information. So right now I've had a conversation going on here with Genevieve and yesterday we picked up there's a problem that she has at HubSpot that she'd like to get support on and we went through that but I don't have that recorded as a ticket in my HubSpot portal. So how do I go about doing that? Well, first and foremost, the easiest thing, the easy thing that you do is that you just come into the portal and then you just highlight the conversations that you will want to have picked up now this is part of the conversation but it's not going to pick up a voice note unfortunately right from there what we then do is that i will then go here to save and that is going to bring up a box for me so i have to put here a little bit of a description so i'm going to say um user as a matter of fact i think i have a description here set already i was to make to make life easy so i want to say right so i'm saying this this user was inactive for approximately 10 months, yada, yada, yada. From there now, I want this to be created as a new ticket, right? So it's going to go as a new ticket. It's going to go into the HubSpot support pipeline and it's going to identify as to what stage this ticket is in. So I'm going to say, well, I'm going to leave it at stage three, problem identified. Now, the cool thing with this is that these stages match my HubSpot, my, my service support stages in HubSpot. So it's going to be perfectly aligned and it's going to put it at the right service cycle stage, all right? And then I'm just going to give it a, a, a name. I'm going to call um, user unable to access, access HubSpot. Um, I'm not going to maybe give it to uh, assign it to any company. So I'm going to create it as a note. Now, once I do this, two things happen. I'm going to receive a note that says uh, the new ticket up to the top. The new ticket has been added to HubSpot. Click OK. And then it's going to say the new note has been added to HubSpot. So I then click OK. So once you do that, a couple of things are going to happen, right? So one, you're going to get a couple of notifications. So you can see this ticket coming up in a few, in a number of different ways. One, you will get an email letting you know the status of this notification of this particular ticket. And what happens too is that as this ticket moves, right? Um, as this ticket moves through its journey towards re being resolved, you will get updates on it. And updates can actually be sent to the customer as well, right? So if you were to go to tickets, you will see that the ticket is now showing up in our pipeline. This is the ticket here, right? There is a notification here that would have shown up also that lets us know that, hey, we would have received a ticket here. You've been made uh, you've been made the ticket owner of user and able to access um, HubSpot portal. And what happens too is that from the same email, you can actually click here and it will bring you straight into the ticket. Now, here's the nice part about it. When you go into the ticket, if you notice the information that you would have included from out of WhatsApp is now here in terms of your ticket description. Also, as your notes, if you look at all activity or notes, it's here as well with the full information based upon the conversation that you and the customer would have had through WhatHub connecting your HubSpot portal to your WhatsApp 
into Facebook. Because we have so many different channels, it is important that we bring all of that customer information into one space so that it could all be managed. Service can do their thing and it comes into the customer record. Marketing and sales can do their thing and it comes into the customer record. And you just build on your deals and your service, your service tickets and your promotions, etc. from there. Again, WhatsApp, <laughs> through WhatsApp and HubSpot functionality in HubSpot. Peace.